Now, hey guys, welcome back to your daily dose of aviation. Now, as here on the channel, I like to use very high quality flight simulators always. This is probably the best flight simulator that you can get right now. As you can see here, this looks amazing. We are in London right now, even though my PC totally hates me because this is quite a thing to render, which is quite another story. So yeah, my standards are pretty high. Let's lower these standards. Let's actually check out the worst rated flight simulator on Steam today, because I found a really really special one. Let's do that. All right, let's quit X-Plane and go over to Steam now. Now, here we are in Steam. Now, in order to find the worst rated flight simulator, we just have to search up airplane on Steam and sort the results by user reviews. And what we're going to do now is we're going to scroll all the way down to the last page. And here we are already. Now, here we have the worst, worst rated flight simulator. It's not really a flight simulator. It's Air Tycoon. No one cares about that. But here is an actual flight simulator. And this one is called Aviator Bush Pilot. Very interesting FPS here in the trailer. This doesn't look good. Now, what really, really doesn't look good is the reviews. 8% of the 23 user reviews of this game are positive. That is really not good, Jesus Christ. No one recommends this one. Can I find a good one? Yeah, someone is recommending this game here. I think this could be a nice little game. It takes a little while to figure out the controls. Really nice frame rate. Good graphics. All right, play it a little bit before you judge it. Let's do that now. Let's actually play this flight simulator. I mean, this looks kind of promising, you know, the accurate handling and realistic physics. That is going to be very interesting. Now, there we go. Let's just start the game here. Of course, we're going to set our graphics to optimal so that we have the best graphics to see here. Now, uh, let's just start the game, right? Here's the loading screen. Very much fun. Jesus Christ, there's music, I didn't know that. Ah, shut up. All right, now now that's better, I guess. Jesus, the music is super duper loud as well. Okay, now we're done with, with that part, right? And we are already loaded into the flight simulator. And this is what our plane looks like. Yeah, this is some kind of Piper training aircraft. I don't really know. It doesn't say it anywhere. Yeah, we literally only have one aircraft to choose from in this flight simulator. There's not much that you can do actually here. Now, the only place that you can fly at here is the desert. So yeah, that is that. Now you can also walk around as an actual person here. You can... This is not very good. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get into the plane and actually try taking off. Now, right now, I have my joystick connected to my PC that I normally use for recording videos, and it doesn't really work. For example, I'm now putting in rudder input. I'm controlling the rudder, and that controls the camera. And actually, you cannot customize the controls. I'm stuck with this. I don't know how to actually control the rudder here in this flight simulator, and I absolutely have no idea how to actually control the throttle in this flight simulator. It just doesn't work. I know how the views work, so that's okay. I'm gonna have to use my keyboard to control throttle, so let's just do that. Let's just press 2 in order to accelerate. That works. Uh, yeah, again, I have no ground steering, no, no rudder. Now, that was actually kind of interesting when it comes to physics. Now, you know, in real life, a plane like this would have definitely turned to the left because of the engine torque. That is very unrealistic and unacceptable for such a high-level realistic flight simulator, right? All right, meanwhile, we're just flying along at Mach 2. Jesus Christ, we're super fast. Oh, birds. Birds. Whoa. Why is there birds? Now, we're going to have to... Oh, some more birds, I think. All right, now we're going to have to land down here between these two mountains. This is going to be quite an interesting landing, right? I have no idea how to control flaps or anything. So, we're going to have to land without flaps. This is going to be quite an interesting landing. Oh, hard landing. All right, now let's stop, even though I have no idea how to do that. Okay, you know what? That landing was actually not bad. That was pretty successful, wasn't it? And there we go. That was a stop. Post to delivered. And yeah, that's pretty much all that is to this flight simulator. It's kind of disappointing, isn't it? You can fly around between a few airports. It's not very interesting. Oh, by the way, I haven't talked about how much this flight simulator actually costs. It's not freeware. It's actually payware. You have to pay 10 bucks for this flight simulator. And honestly, that price is probably $100 too high for that. I mean, at least for what you're getting. I have no idea. Jesus Christ, this is worse than... And most free games. The landscape, it reminds me of Mario Kart on my Nintendo DS from 2006. Alright, let's maybe further test the physics. Oh, we got some birds in front of us. 
As you can see, the plane is totally fine with us flying upside down, which is not realistic in real life. The engine would have already failed. It's 1 out of 10 for the physics, actually. The handling is not very realistic. It... <laughs> can you say, right? Something that is kind of nice, though, is that we have some kind of life cockpit. It's not really accurate because the airspeed indicator is in kilometers per hour, and we don't want that to happen. Jesus Christ. Never use kilometers per hour. I have no idea how much 90 kilometers per hour is in knots, right? I, you know, I don't want to have to calculate while flying. And by the way, the cockpit is totally not interactive. We cannot do anything. I love how it says you're a bush pilot and not a long haul aircraft. By the way, how is there a bush here? There's not even trees. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, there is trees sometimes. It's more like desert pilot. Jesus. Oh, some more birds. Why are there birds everywhere? You shouldn't be flying here, I guess. And why don't they do any damage? All right. Oh, 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 mountain. That was pretty close. All right, that was not a crash, though. Oh, that was a very nice landing. Oh, there's elephants. <laughs> There's actual elephants in here. Wait, so what kind of country is this now? Right, elephants, here I come. Oh, we've gone just right through one. Maybe let's use this mountain as a ramp or something. Or not. Now, what you're actually supposed to do in this flight simulator is missions. For example, you have three offers here, like find a person or find an object or transport. And sometimes there's time limits and stuff and you can make money off of it, like 7,000 bucks. Oh, that seems pretty good, doesn't it? All right, let's now go and take off. All right, passengers, welcome aboard Swiss 001 Airlines. Our weather today is pretty good, I guess. On the left of us, we can see some desert, and on the right of us, well, desert. Now, I've just noticed this, but this desert ground doesn't look very deserty, does it? Looks like there's ice on it. Let me just mention, it's 27 degrees outside Celsius, and that is, of course, the physics that they're talking about. And again, we are cruising at a speed of Mach 2. We're faster than a Concorde. At an engine speed of 1,600 rotations per minute, that's gonna be quite a big rotor blade, right? We can also take a glimpse at these very beautiful clouds. This is very next level. Now what else can we do in here? Uh, we can listen to the radio. That's very, very realistic. Country hit radio, blues on air, classic bush radio, and user def radio. Yeah, none of those work. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like to listen to uh, radio as well when I'm flying. Now, let's go ahead and land. Our destination is down here. We have incredibly realistic physics down here as well. This very huge diamond. A lot of people that are not pilots actually don't know this, but this is what you actually see with your eyes in real life when you approach your airport to find the runway. I mean, honestly, otherwise a pilot could never be able to find the runway without this diamond. You know, it's common sense, really. Now, let's touch down on on this not paved runway is again Jesus oh what's that in the mountain I have no idea yeah that's probably Africa for you let's go ahead and stop yeah is that a thing in Africa I don't think so all right now that's it we can jump out of the airplane and um, we can uh, have a glance at these very beautiful walking animations now yes the actual question is does this flight simulator actually deserve its rating as the worst flight simulator on Steam with a rating of 92% negative that is not good and we can say yes is there anything more to add Oh, we are in the water now, Jesus. Uh, you know, this is probably a game that I would totally recommend. Jesus Christ, this planet just won't crash. Or maybe now? Oh no, tree. All right, that was a crash now. All right, we killed our passenger too. So you should definitely download this game. And thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.